Hey guys, so you got a video on the bottom dollar hand cannon. This is the new Gambit hand cannon from this season. It's an aggressive frame 120 hand cannon, and these are the meta right now. We got two new ones to drop this season. We got the Igneous Hammer from Trials, and we got the bottom dollar. And both of these hand cannons are honestly right on par with each other. They both are insanely strong. Let's go for the roll that I got. So we'll talk a bit more about the hand cannon. So for the barrel, I got a Hammer Forge Rifling, which could be considered the best barrel possible potentially. I actually prefer small bore a little bit more, uh, but uh, straight plus 10 range and no cost at all and then i also got accurized rounds which is also the same thing 10 range and no cost uh master got a stability i really like stability on this uh because i think uh if you look at the roll like stats wise that i got it has around i think 85 range and 44 stability now i'd actually say 44 stability is actually a little bit on the low side i do play on controller it does kick a little bit more than i'd like but it's not unbearable to use it's still very easy to use it just a little bit harder to use compared to my igneous hammer that has 60 stability right so i think uh for a console player you want somewhere around this blend of like 80 something range and hopefully 40 something stability because i think by default it's only 34 so if you get nothing to bump the stability it's definitely going to be noticeable on controller player in my opinion and then these are the two things that make this roll that i got insanely strong i got range finder and explosive payload all right so range finder uh adds a bit of zoom it gives you more range it adds about like people usually say about four meters roughly to your range which is insane uh and then for the um other perk I got is explosive payload. Uh, this basically adds a lot more flinch to people when they're shooting you. Is this this roll is very good for challenging sniper rifles because this thing has a lot of range and it flinches them more than usual because explosive payload. It gives you an explosion on your screen, it makes it hard to see, and it makes your gun flinch more, obviously. So this is great for uh, challenging sniper rifles because those are very hard to challenge right now because they don't have a. I mean, they have flinch, but they just seem to hit you first shot no matter what every time. So being a bit more comfortable challenging sniper rifle is extremely strong and also something that a lot of people don't know about is that explosive payload splits your uh bullet damage up in about like a third i think of it goes to the explosion and now that explosion damage does uh has no damage fall off at all so you'll always see 65 and then whatever the other number is so 65 is the um the normal bullet damage you will get drop off on that but the other bullet uh the explosion part never drops off so that means that it actually gives you more effective range essentially uh, i looked at um d2 gunsmith i think this roll according to that has about 47 and a half meters before damage drop off when you think about that that is ridiculous 47 meters and uh that's not counting like the three tap range like if you were to hit two headshots and one body shot how far can that be i, I kind of want to test it I i'm guessing it's easily over 50 meters i want to say around 55 meters is my is my guess don't quote me on that but this is a lot of range and it is nuts one thing that's actually nice about the explosive payload perk actually is that i think it pairs really nicely on a 120 hand can actually for the reason that if you do hit two headshots they will be extremely one shot and now if they run around the, oh, excuse the noise if they were to run around the corner and you don't quite see them anymore but if you catch the ground right next to them with the explosive payload it actually will do close to the 25 damage and kill them so actually that's a very uh, good thing to keep in mind when you're using an explosive payload 120 is if you hit 
two headshots, shoot the ground near them if they're by cover. You will probably get them actually. So it is really, really nice pairing actually on a 120 for that reason. Um, obviously, I want to pair Icarus Grip with it to hit those uh, jump shots a little easier. Uh, but yeah, this is the uh, bomb dollar I got. It has insane range and okay stability and it flips people quite a bit. It is honestly a god roll it is pretty much perfect the only thing i wanted different was uh multi kill clipper rampage here damage dealing perks are obviously insane on 120s but i didn't get that unfortunately next best option is explosive payload for sure in that column so yeah this roll is insane it has almost too much range it does not feel okay how much range it has um i do have a god roll igneous hammer as well and uh, I tested out this comparison. As you can see, this one has some nutty stats as well. Obviously, quick draw is quite nice, but I don't know. Like, I, I personally, like, if I'm sniping with a 120, I want quick draw. But if I'm using a shotgun with the 120, I think I'd rather have range finder on it. I think I'd rather have the range finder perk and just sit further back and get even easier three taps across the map. Um, so compared to that world, uh, quick drop moving target versus range finder, explosive payload, I think that I actually like this gun a little bit more actually, it has more range and I get more out of the perks, moving target is not as noticeable but it does feel nice. Um, also another thing to talk about this hand cannon compared to the Ignis Hammer because they're basically the same gun, this one gun has better base stats and one gun has better perks, right? The bomb dollar is better perks, but the Ignis Hammer has better base stats by quite a bit in all categories. Um, so what about this gun is if you look at the barrel, you can see that it this where the sight is It kind of comes down and then goes out a bit That means it has a very 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 clean uh, Scope or not scope a uh, sight and it's very easy to see what you're shooting now I have to make it part of the igneous hammer. It, it is a bit bulkier Around the barrel so it can be a bit tougher to see where you're shooting. It's not bad. It's not like a problem but I just found the bottom dollar, like it was really easy to see what I was shooting. So I did, I, I like that quite a bit. I actually think the bottom dollar is a slightly better feeling hand cannon, but here's the thing we gotta talk about. Getting the god roll the bottom dollar is pretty much impossible. I think I saw a cool guy say that it was a one in 36,000 chance of getting the exact roll that you want. So I don't know what the chances of getting this roll was, but if you wanted like a max range, well, that's pretty much what this one is. This one can barely get any more range. If you had a range master, you could have a little bit more. But uh, uh, like I said, a control I want stability anyways. But anyways, this is an insanely good roll. Uh, if you look at my infamy score in Gambit, I think I'm at, what well, let me see, 11,316. I only got three bottom dollars to drop. So if somebody can figure out in the comment section how many games that roughly is, I think it's over 50 games for sure of Gambit, and I only got three. The first two I got were absolute trash, like literally unusable, I didn't even try them out. And then this is my third roll I got, and I was just amazed, honestly. This is a god roll, it is pretty much perfect, like I said, if I had ramped it would have been better. But Explosive Payload is still really good, this is an insanely good hand cannon. This is probably going to be the best, like, uh, long range dueling hand cannon for Trials, probably, because it does have more range with, with Range Finder. I love, love, love Range Finder on these 120s. That's why I used to use my True Prophecy with Range Finder Rampage quite a bit. One negative to this is also a negative to the Ignis Hammers. They both have a magazine size of 8, which, honestly, for Trials is not too big of a deal. Um, but what it means, basically, is you can't get 3 kills in one magazine. Uh, and it's not that hard to get a three tap of these hand cans. It's not very it's not unlikely that you're gonna hit 100% shots and get three taps out of nine bullets, right? So the problem with that is this is fine for trials to be honest, but for quick play I found it was a little bit harder to get to change streaks and get more kills with this compared to my true prophecy that is rampage and has nine bullets in the mig I found it was a, a decent amount tougher to do that, but still I mean just run uh, on the Hunter, run the uh, Dodge Reload with backwards or something like that, and you can just teleport away, get a reload, and start three-tapping people again across the map. Like, you know, it, it's a bit of a workaround, but it is a negative for sure. But anyways, that's going to be the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay of the Bomb Dollar. I got some clips in the beginning, and I'm going to show some gameplay right now. Uh, if you guys do enjoy the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share your rolls down below in the comment section. I'd love to see you guys' rolls. Uh, the RNG on this gun is insanely hard. <laughs> Pretty much impossible to get a god roll. And uh, yeah, guys, uh, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. We are almost at 1,850 subscribers on YouTube right now, which is insanely close to hitting 2K. I would love we could hit 2K, guys, very, very soon. It means so much. We're getting super close, guys. Thank you so much for all of the support. It's been insane, actually, lately. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys on the next one.
opponents down. seconds stand between you and victory. more guardians than you. 